Hello, my name is Tom Atwater, and in this section we will define the trigonometric functions and their fundamental identities. Then we will apply what we have learned by solving application problems. The six trigonometric functions of a given angle theta are defined in our first graphic using their customary abbreviations. Here we have angle theta in standard position. We have a point xy that lies on the terminal side of angle theta. And therefore we know that if we draw this right triangle by dropping a perpendicular, we have the x value, the y value, as the two legs of our right triangle. We're going to label the hypotenuse as r. And when we do that, it then leads us to define r in the following manner. Let xy be a point other than the origin on the terminal side of an angle theta in standard position. The distance from the point to the origin is given by r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. Then the six trigonometric functions of theta are as follows. The sine of theta is equal to y over r. The cosine of theta is equal to x over r. The tangent of theta is equal to y over x, where x is not equal to 0. Then we have the cosecant of theta, which is r over y. And again, in this case, y does not equal 0. The secant of theta is r over x, x not equal to 0. And finally, cotangent of theta is equal to x over y. And again, y is not equal to theta. Let's use the six trigonometric functions to do an example where we find those values. Find the six trigonometric function values of the angle theta in standard position if the terminal side of theta is defined by the equation 2x plus y equals 0, where x is greater than or equal to 0. So to do this problem, let's draw a graph that represents that equation. We have the equation that 2x plus y equals 0. Well, that also means that y is equal to negative 2x. And if I can choose any point, of course, other than 0, 0, which would be at the origin, let me pick, for example, x equals 2. If x is equal to 2, that tells me y is equal to negative 4. So I would have the point on the terminal side of this angle theta as being 2 comma negative 4. Well, if that's the case, then I can draw a triangle by dropping this perpendicular. And I now know that this would be equal to 2, and that length would be equal to 4. The actual coordinate is negative 4, but the length of that side is 4. So that when I want to find r, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to say that the hypotenuse squared, r squared, is equal to 2 squared plus 4 squared. So r is the square root of 4 plus 16, which is the square root of 20, which gives me 2 square roots of 5. Well, now that I have my value of r, and I already had my values of x and y, I know that the ratio for sine theta is y over r. And so that's equal to y, negative 4, over r, which is 2 square roots of 5. Of course, I can reduce the 2 and the 4 down to 1 and 2. 
And if I wanted to rationalize the denominator, I would have to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 5. That will give me an answer then of negative 2 square roots of 5 over 5. I'm sorry. Over 5. And that would be the sine of theta. Well, if we look at then the cosine of theta, cosine of theta is x over r, and x is 2, and r again was 2 square roots of 5. Those reduce down to 1 each. To rationalize it, I'd multiply again by the square root of 5 over the square root of 5, and that's going to give me an answer of the square root of 5 over 5. So that gives me my sine and cosine. Now let's find the tangent. The tangent of theta is equal to y over x. My y is negative 4, and my x is 2. So my tangent of theta is equal to negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. Now I want to find the cosecant of theta. The cosecant of theta is equal to r over y. Interestingly enough, though, you should recognize that we calculated in cosecant theta, I thought, forgot a C here. There, that's better. You should notice that the R over Y is just the reciprocal of Y over R, which means it's the reciprocal for sine theta. And the reason I point that out is that we will come back to that when we do some things called trigonometric identities. Well, R, remember, is 2 square roots of 5, and Y is equal to negative 4. And therefore, the cosecant of theta is equal to negative the square root of 5 over 2. Secant theta. The secant of theta is equal to r over x. r, we said, was 2 square roots of 5. x is 2. Those reduced down to 1 each. And we get that the secant of theta is the square root of 5. And finally, the cotangent of theta is defined to be x over y. So that would be equal to 2 over negative 4, which is negative 1 half. And there we have the six trigonometric functions for that particular angle. Notice that the ratio for sine theta, which is y over r, and the ratio for cosecant theta, which is r over y, are reciprocal functions. Well, there are six reciprocal identities which allow us to find all six trigonometric function values when just one of the trigonometric values is known. Here are the reciprocal identities. 